gonna be playing some uh, Factorio today. So, gonna continue the green Crestorio run. No logistic robots. And I'm gonna wanna show you guys what I did here for a filter. Uh, this is a dump box. So if you ever have junk that I wanna just dump it here, I go into this box, right, and just dump it all. Then I just filter it through my main bus. I did place a bus of sorts. So it's going pretty well. This this run has been going really fun. I'm having a blast with this run. Let's see, what do I want to do? Let's get more trees. Let's plant some more trees. Don't even know what to do here. Lasting a can research before I have to go green. Just move this down a second. Right, so I need to put some more trees over here. There's still pollution. This eats all the pollution, right? <laughs> it's got to be the right way to go. I'm gonna plant some more greenhouses near that water too. Oh, that food handling gave me extra inventory space. I don't know why that would do the case, but got extra inventory space. And there's nothing else I can research. Oh, I can research this. Oh, that's a lab. That's in the greenhouse. That's a green Offshore pump, offshore pump, where are you? Yeah. Let's put a greenhouse over here and I'll start just doing the whole And get uh, pipes. Under this reduced pollution, I'm not going to cut down more trees, obviously. Sneaky watching during work? Don't tell your jelly friend? I won't. <laughs> your secret is safe with me. Yeah, so I've done quite a lot on this one, Jelly Friend. This run has been going bonkers. Something strange about cutting down trees to place greenhouses.
two different trees. But they are the same, that's fine. It's fine. Yeah, okay, I'll keep this crystal wood in. So I want to put a between here so that it feeds into both these about something like this. would work. I definitely like this mod a lot more than Bob Angels. I don't know what it is about Bob Angels that hurts me. This one is very pretty. I, I just like all the different graphics and everything. It's such a uh, pleasant game. It is really pretty. You know, I like it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. It's gonna be a very green run, Jelly Friend. It's gonna be very little pollution, that's my goal. I'm gonna reduce the pollution here, ridiculousness. So there's like barely any pollution at all. At least that is my goal. Hi! Extend this one as well. It's been a minute, kitty in the background. Is this turn of the gate? I know, right? She absolutely loves to sleep over there. So I figured, why not? So here we come to grab trees. Let's plant some trees. There's the pollution over there. Really, really want to reduce that push so that it doesn't get over the lake. I wanted to stop near the lake. Gonna heavily. So where's where am I at? That's causing a lot. So it's right here. Obviously, it's where the or the the steam thing is. So let's put more trees over here. This thing is also consume pollution. Look at that pollution minus five per minute, pollution minus five per minute. Each of these does, which is wonderful. I think we're getting shortage. 
Oh yeah, this does still need wood, doesn't it? Yeah. I was missing something. I knew I was missing something. Oh, you know what? I need to go activate the squeak through. I need to squeak through. Get through these pipes. I wonder if it works with the bot mod. I'm sorry, but with this one. Let's see if the squeak through works with it. I think we need it. Just to go through those pipes. <laughs> Can't forget it again. I am addicted. I love this game. It's so cute. Look, look at the background. I cannot wait to get it all this cool stuff. Can I get through here? Yeah, look at that. I can speak through. Yay. Such a fun game. I'm gonna get the lumber out of here. I won't be able to. Just gonna have to do some Else to research? Nope, nothing else I can right now until we get to green. Yep, sprinkles. The pickles just loves to sleep there. And of course, I have. Uh, Sprinkle sleeping on my feet, and I have London here, the pupper, sleeping behind me on her corner chain. But she's perfectly fine. She's, she, she has, uh, she has already conceded to that the corner chain is necessary for her health. Mm-hmm, just fluff happiness all around her right here. Oh, I need another tunnel. Oh no, I have an odd number of tunnels. This is not good. Something bad happened somewhere. I'm sure it's fine. I'm still trying to make sure this doesn't go that far. Shelly friend, are you ready to see the main hub? Are you ready to see this? So, this is where we make sand. That's where we make iron ingots. That's the one for stone. That's the one. Look at this. Look at this beauty. How is this for an organized? Yeah, look at that bus, right? All thick and nice and full. Oh, it looks like I got some uh, depleted mines here to clear out too. Quadratic spaghetti, right? Jellyfruit, are you ready to see my new design? I, I thought of this yesterday because you know, you know how we all when we play, we end up having a book, a box, of, uh, a bag full of junk. Do you remember that when, whenever we have like a bunch of crap in our inventory, we want to just dump it, right? I want to show you my dumping area. You're, you're gonna be amazed by this. I'm like, I, I, I didn't know how I think, how I thought of it, 
But once I did it, I was like, oh my god, this is this is brilliant. This is where this works so well. I'm gonna show it to you. Hang on. Let me power this up, because I forgot to power it. Alright, look at her power too. Power is perfect. I'm not even using half her power. But you see these lines here? Look what look what I did here, Jelly Friend. So if it's any anything useful, like, you know, ore, iron, copper, copper, coal, copper cables, wood, etc. and so on and so forth. Uh I'm gonna have to do some fixing over there. Uh and everything else, if it doesn't if it's not useful, send you the shredder to destroy it. <laughs> So it's like a filter, like you just come here, dump your stuff into this box, and it auto filters it for you. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Like, like, oh, let's have fun with this. Like, just, it's like a look at that. It filters everything, and it's, if it refeeds it to the main bus. Look at that. When he's logistic robots, when you have a spaghetti, right? The power of spaghetti compels you. <laughs> and of course, and, and, and one more thing, Jelly Friend, that is amazing. Uh, this is in the same order as the bus, but horizontal, uh, vertical. So you see it on the bus, you have ore, um, or iron, or copper, right? And look at here, or iron, or copper. And you have coal, whatever that is, because I can't see it right now. But it's in the same order. So as we add a new line to the to the bus, we can add a new line over here and just keep going down the line. Just keep adding more and more filters. Tell me if that's not a way, good way to keep track of what you, what buses you already built. Like you just come here to see it. Do I have a bus for this? Yes, I do. <laughs> so yeah, that was my brilliant plan there. <laughs> so it does look like we need to use more lumber. Uh, we're out of tunnels. Let's go to my amazing mini mall. Check this out, jelly friend. Look at that mini mall too. Already already set up. All set up already. It's like, isn't it like completely different than what we played from yesterday? Like we had like nothing, now suddenly like I have this full setup going already. Right, uh, what I came here for? Yeah, it's clean. I I've never done a built this clean. It's so strange. Look at all the space we have. It's weird. It's so weird. Once the coal runs out, I'm gonna start feeding lumber into the steam engines. So I'm just gonna get, catch up at every single line into this hub, into the bottom of the hub. I want to get an idea where we are, because I haven't haven't done this in a while. Yeah, I just wanna get, get myself organized here a little bit. That's that. That's where it starts. This one starts down here. belts. So you said you're gonna do a multi multinodal train layout? What we could do is set up a station that drops it up over here and then takes it all the way down to the top of the bus, right? So like you can go get all the copper, all this iron all around. Yeah, that'd be pretty fun. 
purge this heresy. Could also, I could probably set up walls at this point. Yeah, I said I was gonna do set up, setting up some walls. I could probably get started on that. See how our resources looking so far, though. Everything looks pretty darn good. I should do some research already. Yeah, guys, I finished all the yellow and red, so now we we're pretty much be moving on to green. But remember how we said that we were we make a, a line for every everything that we can produce before. We add more stuff, it might be a good idea in this mod so we can really get down to keep ourselves organized, right? What do you think? We're working this together, so your opinion is of much of value, obviously. I made this wrong or something because they're all off by one. No, I just screwed this bottom one, that's all. We are keeping ourselves organized in this one. We're not gonna, we're not gonna cheap out on this one for sure. We will take no substitutes here. We, we will organize it. Dang it. Okay, this one might not, might be a little more fun. directions. Am I gonna get this in here? No. I live somewhere room right here. I did. Right, so this is where we can spaghettify things. Exactly. Maybe an issue there. Yes, okay, I just want to keep track of everything. So it's it's properly. Oh, it's so pretty. It is so pretty when it actually works.
little overkill here, but I just want to make it look amazing. That's not how this works. That one's right. This one's not. There we go. There we go. That's oh, so great. It's amazing. Never done something this pretty before. Friend. Thank you for the gifted subs. You didn't have to do that, but thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Long live the Empire. Zerbo, y'all. Y'all are way too nice to me. Your gifted subs start working again? That's awesome. Long live the Empire. Thank you for the love and support, Jelly Friend. It was broken for all September. Oh, that is that's so annoying. I'm sorry. So in the east, in the best month to do it, that's when they break it. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. <laughs> I don't know why they would do that. Thank you for the love and support, Jelly Friend. belts again. Let's go grab some more trees. Plant some more trees to reduce our pollution. Did that research? I kind of want to do the red and green, but storage but you can't set, uh... Wait a minute, what if I do it like this? Maybe pick it a few- there you go. Let's think of a way to plan this properly. So that if there's ever- because I was only to store the excess here. But I think this is fine. Yeah, the lines are very thick and waiting anyway. So, probably gonna do now is the, the other two colors. Whatever they may be. So it's going to be the green research you have to do next, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This is going to make green. What do I need for green? Iron gear, electronic circuits, and blank deck cards. Interesting. gear but first let's let's do the unloading of them first so iron gear so the one thing that we don't have made is electronic circuits how do I make those? Wood, iron plate, copper cable. Perfect. It's something we have a lot of. Uh, it's so normal. Default settings for Biter's River. There's a there's a, a small nest there already. <laughs> well, obviously, label is purged this heresy. Just the standard Biter's.
we just uh, we just finished the death world yesterday, so I feel like a standard setting won't be hard anymore. So now we can we, we learn how to do death world. So any other setting right now is just gonna feel pretty simple, which is great. I just don't want to do another death world. <laughs> At least not yet. We can take a break in between. getting myself organized. I never did something this organized before, this is my first time doing it. Now I'm obsessed with giving everything as organized as possible. I guess something is not missing here. There we go. Just missing a line. Yeah, it is pretty fun. Look at that. It's very colorful. It's also a good way to keep track of where you're disorganized, right? So like you can keep track of that stuff. It's gonna be great watching this sending to this own inevitable spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> it's you know it's gonna happen. If we, as, as so long as we can keep it semi-organized. Let's go let's go plant some more trees. Let's plant trees, reduce the pollution, yay. One's out. The other one sends a lot of maintenance as well over here. I think that those out as well. No, they're all green. Yeah, this main mine operation is going to be all gone pretty soon. Time for some tree planting. I guess I have to write your name over here, Jelly Friend. Out of trees, jelly fray. <laughs> missing, missing just one letter. Should be continued. We got jelly fray. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I was having fun with it. We can have fun playing games. Why play games, right? Close. Ah, so close. Got to, we're gonna have to wait for more trees then. Oh, I forgot to put wood on this one. Oh no. I'm glad you like it. But the smiley face, look at it, it looks like it's like uh, something go through its nose. The smiley face. It does look like we might need some more wood. Over here.
know what? I have greenhouses. Let's just use them. I might be overtaxing the water system at this point, but we're about to find out, though. How is the water on these? Yeah, they're maximum water. Not overtaxed at all. Got plenty of water. Yeah, wood is still not getting to the bottom. Maybe one with these extra ones might might change that. I guess just to balance it out, I would need two more over here. Let's balance it out. loader thing. I haven't tried using it. Only if it's the same thing as the Bob Angel mods. Let's try it. If it is, let's make this, make this easier. Does this work the same? Let's find out. It does. Oh, awesome. It even looks pretty too. It looks so pretty. Very, very colorful mod. There you go, jelly friend. <laughs> Looks great. Oh. The, the trees are amazing for riding. Look at how cool that looks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, pollution is... Remember, it was up to here. So, that, yeah, the trees are definitely working. And they do die. I mean, the trees eventually die off from the pollution. But you can always plant more, right? Can't plant... Can't play. Can't place. Oh, you can't plant trees in water. Okay, that's what you meant to say. Can't plant trees in water. Sorry, my brain took me a second to process that. Not the brightest. Okay, so. Oh, I guess I need to dump some stuff. Time to see the dumpy monkey dumperson thing in, in action. You wanna see it? Get ready for my brain to uh, broke, get broken. I just want to dump those. So I need to hold those. Okay. They should get filtered eventually. Well, of course, now the stone is filled. So I need to use some more stone. Opens up a whole new place out of pictorial landscape gardening. Right. Exactly. Can be even better right here if we did this in each one. I'll just go pick up, I'll just pick up some more. Just pick up some more splitters. No point making those by hand anymore.
There we go. Look at the auto filter in action. Ah, oh, it's glorious. Just dump all your junk, filters it for you. What should I make next? What did I get now? I'm getting gaps in pollution now. That's awesome. Yeah, but we're playing without bots because we don't want to play with bots because bots are boring. And we have like a zero control over what bots do other than where you place them. We're purposely playing without bots this round. It's just fun to do it by hand. I just like it. I just enjoy it. Just a different way to play it, that's all. Then. Just one last thing here, and then I can actually start adding new stuff to, the, to this. Yeah, Mata Tunnels, what a shocker. I feel like they kind of, I kind of agree with Jelly Friend that I feel like boss kind of cheapens out too much of the game. What is this going for? Do you remember why this is here? This is probably not important. Mod well, without boss will get complex later. It's fine. We're not in a rush. We can make everything pretty and tidy. Gear first. Green gear and blank tech cards. Oh, blank tech cards work again. What I need? Iron copper cube. I guess I can continue this line. Right? <laughs> How's it going, alien? Are you liking Crystorio? Oh, I'm loving it. First time ever playing it. What was I making here? Blank tech cards, right? Yeah, blank tech cards. What did I do from? Probably should have come from that side, but whatever, it's the same thing.
and not reach it? That was weird. What does he use most of? So he uses Fight of Each. Okay, so there's no balancing whatsoever. They have a max connection, and that's what it is. Okay, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Also, I figured that's what it was. To the alert. The copper cable. Yeah, I know about. I know about that one. That one, the, the tutorial taught me on that one. That one, I don't know. Which is pretty cool. Alright, so now I need iron gear, electronics, electronic circuits are wood, iron plate, copper cable. Wood, iron plate, copper cables. Wood, iron plate, copper cables. Wood, iron plate, copper cables. So we just need wood. Because I already have all the resources here. <laughs> what is right here too? Well, that's just convenient. It's incredibly convenient. It's not like I planned this, but I obviously did. Wanna reach in a lot more copper cables so we can merge the Oh something something got screwy right here. Oh no. <laughs> what happened here? Where did I screw it up? I'm sure it was very easy to notice where I screwed up. I just haven't I can't see it now. Goodbye, sorry I I'll, I'll put your plancher back. That's what it is. There we go. And the three grows look nice, yeah, I like it. So which one uses more uses more copper cable than anything else? Oh, you know what I just thought about it? We could just toss electronics on this side and use a single belt. Oh, that would, that would just be dirty. I gotta do it. I, I have to do it. Not safe for spaghetti there. Now, you know what? I'm gonna keep it separate. <laughs> it still uses five of each, right? Yeah, it still uses five, so there's no point in keeping them. We can, we can just keep them separated, that's fine. Squeeze our space a little more efficiently. Need more factories.
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Auto grab the arms. That's what I call them. Grab the arms, because that's what they are. Grab your arms, like make your boxes and movie strips. Yep. This is just the carry, the yellow carry thingies, right? <laughs> no, they're not yellow belts, the yellow carry thingies. Might as well grab some tunnel stuff. Looking, oh, it's better. It's getting better. Then we need uh, right here. Yeah, we have sets. I don't know we have iron gears up here somewhere. Don't I? No, that's automation. Okay, never mind. Uh, I suppose it's time to put uh, iron gears on the main hub for no reason at all. You know what? I'm not going to. Those we can always make more when we need it. That way we're that way we know that we're not depleting other other sources. Cause I do this every game where I will use the remainders of something else and end up not having enough for everybody else. So this time I'm being conscientious about my my production lines.
And that is a pleasant flower pole placing right there. I might actually have to add more of this little gears. They don't sound like it's going to be enough here. I have to double up on this one. Look at that line up. Oh, that's beautiful. It's almost like I work in IT here or something. <laughs> Those cables just lining up perfectly. much better. No, I guess I will create a, a line to store uh, those little things. Can you add a mod? It lets us place water sources, now we can place trees, you see in every gap between factory blocks, an opportunity to make a little garden. Can you do it in the middle of a playthrough? Okay, so if you add a, a mod, like you want, it won't affect uh, everything else. Oh, that's true, I just added speak through, you're right. Yeah, we can look for one. Let's, let's see if there is one. Water tiles. Uh, search water. Water fill. Is that it? Placeable water. This mod allows a placeable water just like landfill. There you go. If it works, it works. So I guess you're gonna be doing gardens now, Jelly Friend. I'm looking forward to it. We're gonna have so much fun with this mod. <clears throat> I hope that one's compatible. It is, because it, it let me do it. So how, let's see, how do we do the water thing? Oh, there you go. Even already had the, the proper things. Perfect. Gardens and trains and paths. Love it. We have water tiles. What's up? Very cool. Avoid this mod for space exploration though? Will do. Oh, I was forgetting something. And I actually start research, right? Let's go ahead and start research. Oh, look at that. Steel furnaces. And radars. Huzzah, radars. This space explorer is inter-industrial green space, right? I feel like the map is already big enough. We don't really need space exploration. Ah, I'm just gonna go plant some more trees to reduce pollution. It makes no. It matters nothing. 
Have, have they even evolved at all? Oh wow. They actually are at point two already, Jelly. Yeah, that's from pollution. Well, I'll be darned. <laughs> How come they haven't attacked us yet then? That's really surprising. That's really high pollution. Maybe when AFK for a second and half of base is destroyed or something. this biofuel cool stuff just looks so neat in this game in this mod I, they really took their time making things look neat I like it good morning zero first how are you Yeah, I, I, I made this myself, this Cursed Mall. Like, this is not a blueprint, I created it myself. <laughs> but I figure if we ever play this, because I'm definitely going to be playing this mod several times, it's been my favorite one so far. For sure. Just bring others the way down. Let's we just melt more down there. I'm gonna add a uh, one just for the little circle gears thing. A little belt, give me that. Come on. Sorry, I'll click on things. One, two, three. So we do have a lot of iron gears. Okay. Make use of it. So fun to watch this go. Okay, next. What, what do I want to do? That was the next research tier. Uh, what do you, I think we need a military area. We don't have a military area yet. Oh, we have armor piercing rounds. Cool. Steel plate and pistol magazines. Oh, an iron plate. Okay, start there. Oh my god, Jelly Friend, I just thought about this. You could probably put them all really close to each other if you only cross through these sections. Oh my god, imagine how tight and compact you can make this. Oh, that'd be so pretty to see everything just thick and like really, really thick. You could probably put in four way gaps in between each one. Oh my god, that would be so dense. <laughs> oh my goodness, that'd be ridiculous. A bit late for that now, for this one, but next playthrough. 
that would be some serious dance to spaghetti happening. This iron pole, what was that one? This iron pole for that one, okay. Actually, that one lives, can stay there. Eight should be fine for pistol magazines. That's what you need for piercing round, which is weird. I need a rifle magazine. Oh, never mind. I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay. Full. I need copper there. Int material rifle magazine. Shooting speed. Oh yeah, there's they have different things, right? Into material rifle. I think they misspelled material. The material is spelled with an A, not an E. Yeah. Is that a better than the machine gun then? 130, 75.5. And 70. Oh, that's really slow. Okay, so it's uh, more like a sniper rifle than this anti material rifle. That's a, that's a like, much greater range, though. Huh. Anyway, let's do what we came here. Rifle magazine, armor piercing rounds. So, full iron plate, when I need copper, then. Belts, which is not a shocker here. Out of, I'm about to be out of poles too, so grab some. Grab some belts. I always grab half, so if somebody person needs them, we already have the same amount I just grabbed. In which case, Jellyfriend will be joining me soon when he wants to get off work.
it's yellow, so it's red. It's steel plates. Oh, I haven't done steel plates before. Well, how do we make steel plates in this? Is it the same as the base game? Oh no, it is not. We gotta make coke. Coke and iron plate. Hmm. So it begins. Here's the first challenge there. Coke. It's wooden coal. Oh. That's it. That's it. Okay. That's not bad. Alright, so coke and iron plate, which needs wood and coal. Oh, it looks like we have a source of stone over here, so we're gonna have to. Uh, gonna have to clear this out. I mean, do we really need this much stone, Shelly friend? What do you think? Can we go over this one? We don't need it, paid it. Already. How many furnaces? I have five. I should make some. It's standing in the way of progress. I like the way you think. Like the SP way of hiding things, right? Speaking of that since your program, have you seen that they're gonna add enemies there too? It's gonna be optional, like you can play without enemies too, but I feel like that's gonna make the, the playthroughs a lot more interesting. So I need coal and wood for this. Coal and wood. There only will be space, but yes, yeah, saw that too, so there'll be nothing on the ground. Big fan of space ships yourself. Space ships yourself. Nice. Must be an S in this water. That's probably why it's getting us the. I want to play some radars. Should try Eve online. I oh, mean Eve, no, not even, right? Yeah, that game. That game will steal all your all your free time, though. You lose all your free time once you go Eve. to play that years ago. Nice. Oh, there's rare metals. Got a tiny source of rare metals there. I haven't seen one of those before. But is it one because the pollution is hitting the unexplored section of the map? Yep. This look like there's nothing there. Yeah, just check that. There's nothing there. Is there something else that generates pollution? Maybe somewhere else on the map that we're not aware. Because I have not a single pollution reach yet. Yeah, theory debunked. Unless it's here. Oh, it's here. It's it's gotta be here. Unless it's just the tree is eating it. Yeah, don't sell yourself short just yet. We need more facts. I'm gonna go grab some uh, some uh, 
<laughs> some stone. The truth is out there. <laughs> Mostly. I think it's about time we do a better than mixed landfill. Yeah, we need we need a landfill area. Oh, guess I'm gonna need some. Uh, um, let's grab some factories. I forgot to grab trees. Could have been placing more trees. It's about. I don't even know here. Oh, that's where I'm gonna make the other stuff. Let's place them here. Landfill. What is your job? You make landfill. Oh my god. that three just for this. something no just, they're just that slow Good. I'm gonna make this on this by hand power grid calm oh yeah what does that do alien makes the wires look nice ah all right, I'll, I'll add that to the list of things I need to get then. No cross connections. Oh, I can't get any more mods. Getting too many already. Oh, you know what is amazing? I set this up, but I forgot to unload the wood here. So that there, I did that. I think that might actually be a nest over here. Because there's a very nice gap in connections there. I probably should have. I should have brought more landfill because I won't be able to put the radar. I wanted to place a radar there in the middle. Oh, that was a. Didn't think that one through. The area will eventually have a lot of trees too.
I'm just really taking my time on this one. Like, there's like no rush whatsoever. Just having fun. No. It's like a 35. All that is 35. So water, oh, so I think, I'm guessing you have to make that in a assembly machine. Looks like it's on only the two, three in the advanced one, it doesn't, you can put it anywhere else. It's just so pretty. Look at all the stuff. It's amazing. There's just no aliens there. Okay, I'm at a loss at how we got the pollution. And we have a few nests expanding, huh? Yeah, those two are expansions. We got two expansions already. And another one there. Look at that, being sneaky. And they have the Crete, like in uh, StarCraft, underneath them now. Oh, and that's uranium. Uranium. Oh, I did. I'm j I did just set up a military thing. So I think I just organized myself. Oh yeah, the, the, the only reason I like tagging stuff and this seems a little silly. I, I keep track of where things are expanding and then I. Uh, we can get ourselves organized. So if you're looking for something, we we we'll know where we already explored. Like, like, have you seen this before? Like, it's tagged, so we probably did. I know it's, it sounds silly, but oh yeah, ouch rocks. That's right. In this mod, the uranium actually hurts you. You actually you actually take radiation damage in this mod, which is very cool. It never made sense they could just carry uranium like it's nothing without any armor or protective gear whatsoever. Not that armor mit mitigates the damage though, if you wear armor. Let's plant some more trees. Where's we're still getting pollution? Let's put some in the middle of our factory. And clean up some miners. They usually are the these are the, usually the biggest polluters anyway. Yeah, 7.5 per minute. Look at the edge of the trees here. Dang. Pollution absolutely destroys these trees right here. But it's now we can replant it, right? So if they destroy it, we can replant it. And it's wonderful. So it looks like our first priority would be to probably grab this iron and build our first wall expansion. Let's finish up military. So I got the regular bullets. Piercing ammo requires... Oh yeah, the coke thing that I was going to do. Let's do that.
so it's wood, right? Wood, wooden coal, wooden coal. Probably should future proof it, right? So, when we want to expand it or upgrade it to electric furnaces in the future. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're still in groups of eight. We're making more coke. Look at that, it's so pretty. Look at them do look at them go. Oh, that would be that. Right, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna feed that into this. Can we fit in trees into a furnace in front of other trees? Yes. <laughs> Unless they know they know what they have to do. Survive. So they can avenge us one day. I really am the body. Yep. I need a little bit more than these. Yep. And now, now that we can actually plant trees, I don't feel bad about taking trees down anymore because we can always replace them. It can be very eco friendly. Because I don't need to do this here. Do it here instead. Place it. It's placing here, right? So here, here. The side I was placing it here. Above it. Oh, so to set the. Like, what am I missing? It's a recipe. That's what you're missing. Uh, not only is this gonna uh, double the production, it's gonna feel it just right over here. 
Just right. Alright, so that was coke. You're gonna need that for making steel, right? So steel is coke and iron plate. There we go. You know what's also cool here? I think this is probably gonna need uh, I'm guessing for the the iron ingots, whatever not the ingots, the these things. What are they called? Just look it up. Iron beings. Uh, I thought you just had to turn this into that, but no, you could you just literally just steal into it. Never mind. Never mind. Let's make some steel plates then. I still feel I, I hate going over a deposit, Jelly Friend. I don't like going over a deposit. I feel like I have to extract it all now. Ugh. <laughs> Damn game. Don't like going to getting rid of wasting deposit. It's just stone, but it's we only have 183,000 stone. We don't have any other stone, so we need it. We actually need it. We actually need it. Basically, the whole planet is just on deposit. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna extract it. You can extract it later using bots. Yeah, but I'm not. We're not using bots. We're purposely not using bots in this run, just for the glory of a spaghetti. I'm extracting it all. Bots, what's her band? Ben forever. I guess I'm be making a lot of walls, so Oh, out of miners. I just don't like wasting resources. It's it's ridiculous in this game, like this resources are everywhere, you're gonna keep going, but still. I still like to make sure I use it all. But I came back here for electric miners, right? Yeah, electric miners. So for stone walls, you need stone brick. Stone brick is just pretty easy. Yeah, just stone. Perfect. Ah, no, I know what this is going to be producing for us. Stone walls for miles. So we can drain this as fast as possible. And once this is completely drained, we'll feed it from our main bus. The goal is to deploy this as quickly as possible. Because we need the space. Oh, Jennifer, I need to show you this link to somebody shared yesterday a bunch of uh, b balancers. Let me see if I can find it. Look at this, Jelly Friend. I'm sharing to you in Twitch here. It's an album with all, every single balancer factorial. Somebody made it. Really cool. This is gonna cause so much pollution too. Yeah, one one yep, exactly. It's funny. They wanted to be completionists, I suppose. I 
I'm just gonna bring in two lines of stone. I was gonna just do one, but I think I'm gonna bring two. I can adjust the lines later. Stone bricks is in the furnace, right? Yep. Wait, I need coal for this. What am I doing? I need coal. So definitely, I'm gonna grab some red arms. expansion they're coming jelly friend they're coming they're they're not messing around sounds like we have to go to murder run page pretty early Just right there. Oh, wait a minute. I just saw the problem here. It's not gonna be able to power those. We don't have the other power poles already. Oh, I'm researching that right now. <laughs> yeah, I saw the problem before I did it. Crap. Well, guess it's gonna have to wait for a little bit. Yeah, once this is finished, I can do it. So I'm gonna start setting up the walls, the walls is stone bricks. Okay, that's easy. Oops. It's not like I'm losing a lot of belts, so just remove that limit. Anything else to remove up here? I always like to check for... The... Oh, there's a debated one. I, I just like to remove these. It just makes it tidy. So just cleaning it up. There's another one to clean up. Also frees up space if you want to put something over here to... 
already. What does this take? Them? Copper, iron, iron beam. Okay, so probably should start setting that up as well. Copper, iron, iron beam. I'll probably put that next to the other power poles. If you ever need it for any reason. Copper, iron, power pole. Copper, iron, power pole. Oh, it's right here. It's these three things I need. Oh, that's glass. That's not iron. That's iron. I see spaghetti opportunity coming in here. Cable, iron, uh, iron stick, iron beam. We're gonna make it and we'll just need what else other one? Iron beams. That's it right there. Here. Let's set up. The second it's ready, build. <laughs> It's pretty much just waiting for that to finish researching so we can finish our current project and have medium power poles is it the same for the other one it's the exact same hmm it's the exact same you know what that means it's more spaghetti time I want to get that there. Okay, so we'll get the copper cables down here now. I think you, oh, I know it. I, I just know it. Look at this. It's time for serious Do we deserve this kind of spaghetti, jelly friend, or what? sticks first. Then place it. Okay. Just like that, we have the two power new power poles. Perfect. And that steel beam. Oh no. Okay, so mistakes were made over there. To be continued. 
this you just went into the big room there's a full band set up since the percussion must be a gig on tonight no sleep for you oh no be careful hey do you have earmuffs or something i need to be here i'm just gonna put this like this No, oh, I'm sorry. Serious about my wall here, Jelly Friend. Gotta do it. Should I say our wall? Out of grabby arms. Mm -hmm. This might be the prettiest factory we've ever done, Jelly Friend, without without a doubt. Nothing even comes close to this one. I have some uh, windmills. Why do I have windmills? On? Let's just use them. You can actually hear the wind blowing when you go near those windmills. So how do you make these? Uh, oh, oh, of course, needs a lot more other stuff. Never mind. I was gonna make a uh, factory that makes gates, but nope. Gunters, iron being, iron gear, automation core. Iron being, iron gear, automation core. Uh, what about piercing rounds? I was gonna do piercing rounds, and I needed. Is that why I needed steel to begin with? It is steel and rifle magazines. Close. I almost did screw that up really bad right there. Mm. 
Uh, wait. How should this be arranged? There's a thick forest to the we're about to go through. Hmm. just this later. Once the belt gets that far down, we'll, we'll move it. Yes, that's exactly what I was trying to do. But, uh, tunnels. I could just make some. So it makes two plates. So that is just on a furnace. It is. What's the question, Ben? Uh, Evie. Also, hello, how's it going? Yes. Produce three different types of fuel. Choose light effect, the characteristics of the vehicle, top speed, and acceleration bonus is not as good as in vanilla. So, to compensate, you can place I can additional electrical engine. Ah, okay. Neat. They went over the road and helped batshit crazy old woman her boiler as it wasn't registered more to when you stalled and now needs a new part fitted part fitted got it all sorted the engineer will be coming to fix it this week so good deed done oh your question is this okay How many evil deeds can you do this weekend? How severe? Yes. You should do... There, there's, there needs to be some karmic balance in there. That's just too good. You should do something evil. You should like pet a cat or something. Cats are evil. You should pet them. And here's my evil deed for today. Look at his evil face when I pet him. Yeah, you're really annoyed by this, aren't you? Look at, look at this, you're about to murder me because I'm petting you. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> There's a doggo in the way right now. But yeah, I can feed them. I'm just gonna have to move the camera. Let me... <laughs> Alright. When you protect no good deed goes unpunished, so basically all you have to do is wait. There you go. Right, let me... Let's go, go pause real quick while I feed the kitties. Yeah, you see there's a doggo here in the cone. <laughs> so let's go ahead and feed the cats. Come 
here, kitties. Down here. Oh, I guess the, the doggo thinks she's going to get one. I'm sorry, London. You can't get this one. I need to get treats for the doggo, too. I feel so bad that I can't give her treats. I think I was about to give you first. Then it's Sprinkle's turn. There you go, buddy. I'm sorry, Dogo. You can't have this food, okay? As much as you want to, you can't have it. Yeah, I need, we need to get some dogo treats or something. Let's put it under here so you can see that this pickle's probably going to go back to her bed to sleep. That's it, kitties. Okay, that's it. So that's some piercing bullets. So how do we make a big gun turrets? Iron beam, iron gear, automation core. Iron gun, iron beam, iron gear. Iron gear. So iron gear. Do I have automation cores on the hub? I don't think I do. I definitely don't. Nope. any place I could potentially set it up. Let's just make some, let's just make a place to make turrets. I mean th these don't really take that much stuff. It's iron beam, iron gear, and automation core. So I need some iron to go that way. Shipping Star Trek, Star Trek Online, yeah. London, you're stuck in the fountain piano. I think she needs to go to the bathroom, guys. Let me go let her out real quick because I'm probably gonna take my advantage and, and do that as well. So, right back. Um, so I'm gonna pause because now that we're actually getting alien expansions, if we don't have any production and any defenses at all, I'm gonna pause for a second. If she's gotta go, she's gotta go.
back. Sorry about that. So when Dogus needs to go, he just needs to let her go. So what was what was I doing? Uh, gun towers, gun towers. Without any iron and copper. Another tunnels. Automation core, so what do they need again? Um, copper, iron stick, iron gear. Copper, iron stick, iron gear. Okay. That needs iron beam, iron gear. That's gonna get confusing. The plate, iron stick, iron gear, iron stick, iron gear. I did this. I don't know why I did the splitter here. There was no reason to do it. I did it anyway. Right. Um, Here and Airbnb. I'm gonna need tunnels for sure. Oof, iron production is not looking so good right now. Is actually looking kind of terrible right now. Wait, I passed them all. Yeah, that, that needs some fixing soon. So I need tunnels. I'll be fixing this. I've done what I'm doing.
Space for box in the middle. No. Oh, we have it. Grab some bark bars. Need to go clear some nests? I mean, I have to. They're already expanding. Here we go, killing again, I guess. Just so now that I've already already marked those. Oh, that's a big batch of copper down here too. Almost missed that one. Gotta get stuff organized, right? Nothing wrong with that. Oik. Oh, there, yes, that's exactly it. Oh, there is other stuff. Well, oh, I guess we're gonna deplete that one first, though. Some of our clothes. Just want to use some more of this extra wood. Grab some of those too. What should I do next? We have the walls. I kind of want to set up the wall with the wall at the top because it's, it's a very easy, it's a small one. I want to purge some of these small ones that's close by first. Now let's start at the top. The top makes sense to start. We should make uh, some radars. See a depleted copper mine over there. Sprinkles, you want to jump over there, buddy? Go for it. She just wants to jump on the table.
mistake to draw line. Dang it. For my standard needs to be a perfect straight line. Test any bullets, I guess. Hey, friendos, can I help you test it? Thank you. Okay, that's not that great. are not that great. I need to work on bullets then. That's already worrisome. Some bullets are going to be to make short work of them. No, they're not walking the park this time. I need to do some uh, power dropping on these guys. I only have six of them. Well, looks like I have a problem. Those are the small ones that give me so much trouble. is the way to go. Ready then. Alright, so it's not gonna be a walk in the park after all. You know we're making a park. So we can encompass this copper as well for future jelly frame copper explorations. Started somewhere, right? 
Yeah, I am actually gonna do a belt of shame for ammunition. Believe it or not, I am doing this. It's gonna go all the way back to the base. I could have done this with train unloading. I'm doing a belt of shame though. Don't even care. If those towers line up, I'm gonna laugh. If they're not gonna line up, it's gonna be right in the middle of them. That's okay. That would have been asking too much there. It's going to bring some. Uh, Guns, lots and lots of guns here. Oh, the creep slows you down. Oh, that's good to know now. <laughs> Not in the middle of a battle. Really good to know. Right. I'm surprised that they actually gotten so much from pollution. Like the pollution is not even reaching them. I don't know where they're getting pollution from. Yeah, I'm like really far from them. So surprising. It's like they're evolving faster than when we did that battle world. This might not be a walk in the park. Like the last time. It's okay. I mean, something to do, I suppose. I hope the trees absorbing pollution count towards evolving them. Who knows? heaviest area for pollution so figure put a bunch of trees there to eat it oh that one is really close okay guess we gotta get a bunch more to clear and finish up top as well so we started so chill I'm already thinking they're advancing too quickly on our position is my game. I love it. Okay, 
wrecked, noobs. Go get ready for it. Alrighty. Have fun. Some iron packs, and I use stone. Yeah, let's make some uh, factory that makes those. We need to use stone, should make more of them. Stone, iron, copper, stone, iron, copper. Perfect, right here. What else? It looks like iron is struggling right now. That's not good. Yeah, iron is definitely struggling. What? What are you talking about, alien? Work from home. Oh. People WFM, that's all. I was like, what the heck is that? Not everybody can work from home. It's gotta be struggling. Oh, it is. That's the power. That's the problem. Okay, so we'll go add more power soon. I want to finish up with. I'm gonna. Oh, it's a lot more nice up stuff at the top. So I know we scouted it already. Ooh, that's a big rare metal source there. Well, I suppose in the future, after we finish our defenses, we're gonna be expanding north, because that's rare metals. Right then, um... Yeah, looks like we've got a lot of work cut out for us here. Thank you. 
chicken, I suppose. It's gonna be a lot of these, though. I should just automate that at this point. Make a factory that makes these. Iron, copper plate, iron beam, iron gear. Iron copper cable. Beams of this, this. What's left of that? Yeah, that's this is gonna be a struggle. Let's just, let's start fixing our powers the ship first before we add more stuff to the line. Barely even scratch the surface. It's power is an issue. We still got all those nests to clear around us because they're they are growing towards us. Like these these are all expansions. These four right here. But I think I think I'm okay for now. And then go plop some of those up there. Can I grab? Like, will I go all walk all the way? I can probably plop them up there too. We need to bring the bullets up there too at some point. Is there an easier path? I'm gonna go through there. I have two point eight a belts. So this belt's gonna be bringing bullets. Yes, I'm, I'm actually bringing them with belts instead of a train. This is a little silly, but I am doing it. Another map that I was just doing it, it actually worked pretty well. Because it, it doesn't need re, uh, re ammoing that often. It's not very elegant, but that's okay. Harvest this? No. And I can't even build over it. Oh, that's good to know. I cannot build over it.
Here we go again. Another overkill here at this small bit. That's like a safety, sorry. So I won't be able to block the silver in. And I'll build him Biter Creek. Yeah, that's annoying. How do we remove it? I can't. How do you remove it? I don't have drums. <laughs> Your drums removed it. Oh, there's gotta be a way to do it by hand too, otherwise that's silly. only have to use the drones to remove it. It's like a very terrible design. That's the case. Oh, I watched. I was watching this uh, thing on Netflix the other day. It, it, it was definitely the most what the fuck thing I've ever watched. I think it was called Old Studios. It has a bunch of like post-apocalyptic scenarios. I don't think I've ever watched a more, a more bizarre thing like that. I, I finished watching. I was like, why would I watch this? <laughs> I did, but I was so curious to see how he, the whole thing went that I still watched the whole thing. I'm like, why am I watching this? <laughs> North is defended, so as the sand, proper belts there. Guess I could have plopped some bullets, but that's what the belt is gonna be for. Solar panels. That might be useful. Oh, that's new. Steel fluid tanks. Right. 
gas power station. Oh, that looks cool. Neat. There's gotta be a way to, because when, when I click on this right, right here, and I select this, uh, where is it? Did I select this one right here? Spider creep. Right click to mine build tiles. I tried my mining and it didn't work. I'm gonna try again. But first, let's send the belt of ammo up top. It's gonna be a very long belt. It's gonna be a silly, silly, silly belt. I'm gonna plop some ammo just to fill, if I plop an ammo box here, it should fill the top ones. That's the reason not to. Wind turbine seems to help. I'm trying to avoid pollution in this one. We're trying to do like a kind of a clean factory for no reason at all. I got some uh, cool power right here. Coal power right there. Great air filters. Uh, have I researched that yet? Is that filtration plant? Is that what that is? Is it the filtration plant that you need, or, or is that something to research later? Pollution filter. Okay, so I'm a little far from that just yet. I don't. I don't have that yet. So this is my solution at the moment. So to be so the answer short answer is I don't have that yet. Oh, this is looking like this wall is gonna be pushed to here, here, and here. Yeah, I'm gonna looks like if, after I finish building my starting wall, we're gonna push to these, these, and that. How far is the ammo so far? Still a long way to go. But hey, I'll be filled up in a second. To go through there, so I, I oh, this is a lake. So, I guess the wall plants just got moved.
Guess a wall here, a wall here, a wall here. So wall plan right there. So I can keep track of where I'm putting them. Is there a way to move a tag? Does anybody know how to do that? I would love to know how to do that right now. So I'm going to delete and place another one. Move a tag. I want to move a, a tag that I placed. Like if I click on it, can I move it? Maybe right click. Middle click, control click, Q, C, C, no. I don't see anything. That is the only option. Mm. Just gonna wall this. That's not a small nest. Which ammo do I have for me? Not a lot either. This should be enough to finish that nest though. Let's find out. There's Jelly Friend. Hello, I'm Jelly Friend. How's it going? Yeah, it's going pretty well. Yeah, I can't mind this. Maybe I need some special deck to remove this. So I should have repaired it first. Yeah, I can't find a way to remove creep under the alien's nest, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that in the future. I mean Maybe nukes. <laughs> nukes fixes everything. I was gonna just cut off down here, but I think I should probably just make an L-shaped thing like this. Yeah, but there isn't one. Nobody's figured out how to do it. Yeah, apparently there's not a feature in the game yet. Just confirm it. I'm gonna do an L-shaped thing then. Wait, I just encompass this lake. 
It looks like we're having power problems, so if we can make some more power things. I was about to go and make some um, factory to build us some uh, windmills. Just working out the recipe now. I also put a tag that would be a good spot for a coal, because uh, there's a very anti area right there in the northwest. I tagged it there. Just in case you decide to go that way. Could just encompass this immersed site right away. Hmm. Yep, screw it. I'll try to encompass the immersed site as well. So I don't know what that's going to be used for, but I'm sure it's going to be something very useful. Sure. What's going to be pushed down later? Start somewhere. What does that just whenever you place down to on top of it? Ah, oh, okay. This is a huge concrete factory with zero trees and a massive wall with all the pollution you're making. Yeah, I do my best to reduce the pollution. I just like to play different because everybody just does the big huge factories and it's not original at all. Like, oh, I want to try something different because it's fun. Every, every single one of my games ends up like this massive pollution blob and I'm going to do something different. We also got lucky that we started in the middle of a big forest, so that helped out a lot too. We're pretty badly iron starved as well yep. right now. Because the power, the, all the drills are working like at twenty percent speed. The second power is fixed. They all should kick back in. Close. Still need steel beam. Should have made it yet. Yeah, look at how tiny the pollution is. Like, have you noticed just how tiny our pollution is? Like, we haven't even escaped our borders of our factory yet. Like, I wanted to condense this to nothingness once we get air filters, which is something you can research in this game, apparently. I mean, this mod. Some of this while I finish what I'm doing. 
Let's see more wind tunnels. tunnels ammo. I'm gonna split this one. It, it seems silly to send one little ammo at a time like this, but they actually fill up pretty quickly. The probably the tower is probably already filled at the top. But look at that! It's already filled already. It looked silly, but hey, it's it works. Just they don't attack right there because I don't have a defense right there. It's slow, but it, ammo takes a long time to train this game. Just gonna do the whole train like we did last that world run, but now just gonna do a silly belt of ridiculousness. Really glad the belts don't take power. There's no way this is gonna go bad right here, right? Yep. This could possibly backfire. Let's go grab some more underground belts. We can use that little bullet that is going through to test it to see if it's actually going through or not. Yeah, the drills are the drills are definitely suffering. I can see none of them are actually working properly. They're like working at 10% capacity. Belts. I think 1000 is not going to be enough for this massive project that I'm working on. I'm also handcrafting some more wind tunnels as like, wherever I go, just so I can keep placing more everywhere. Tell me there's not enough space to build this factory here. I dare you. I dare you to doubt me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, jelly friend. <laughs> what are you building there? Oh no, there there is no space there. <laughs> oh god. You're gonna do tunnel over tunnel over tunnel, aren't you? I'm going to weave belts like you never seen before it's gonna be beautiful i had this beautiful factory you're super organized like nope it's time for spaghetti <laughs> no it's gonna be very pretty oh i'm sure a delicate braid I purposely only put the lights there because I kept losing it too. Can't stay around too long today, unfortunately. I've just finished a big meeting and I have a class tonight. Alrighty.
There's no way this is gonna work. It's gonna backfire so terribly. I don't even know if it's actually gonna go through that. I can't really see it until it actually gets to the end. I wanna say it's all connected, but without radars in those areas, I can't tell. This node's not backing up over here. I guess I'll find out soon if it ever gets to here. It's just silly. Positive some of those belts did not go through correctly through those woods. I'm 100% sure. Yeah, I'm sure bullets are stuck in here somewhere in the middle of this wood, and that's gonna be fun to find. And by fun, I mean not at all. It really is, Davaras. A hundred percent, super addictive. Yeah, it must be stuck somewhere over here. Oh, wait, this so you can tell tunnel, wait, tunnel, tunnel. Okay, it's so probably over here then. Let's go fix that. Tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. I think that one is not a tunnel. Is it the same color? I can't tell. This is where it's stuck, right there. I'm just gonna follow these bullets, see where they take us. Look at my very scientific way of figuring out if the belt is actually connected or not. Just stay on the belt. I mean, 
Yeah, sure. Because <laughs> I went through those neat, very thick woods, so I'm not sure if it's all actually going all the way up there. So this is one way to test it. I'm following the set of bullets still that's on the belt. Let's complete some more wing tunnels right here. There it is. Just gotta keep track of it. Alright, made it to there. <laughs> We're just literally seeing if this belt is working. Okay, I just saw it there. I think here might be an issue. Let's give it a second. No, oh, got through. All good. Next place where we can actually see it. Oh, it's so glorious. I actually went through this thick jungle, I can't even believe it. It's, it's going through. I think that actually made it all the way now. No, I just removed the, the belt. There it is. Amazing. This is such a stupid thing to do, but it's fun to watch it. Alright, made it all the way through. Oh. Only one mistake. I'm actually surprised there was only a single mistake, and it was something I was starting earlier too. Beautiful. All right, it's gonna start arming this this towers for me then by itself. This is so terrible. Single bullet, you should do this. Way too close. Okay, check that absolute beauty out. Oh, hang on. Right. I'd have made it just a bit better if I'd have offset the weave by one, but it's still... Oh my god! Compact. What have you done to my factory, Jelly Friend? <laughs> What? It's it's beautiful. It's compact. It, everything does what it's supposed to. It's lovely. I love it. 
Um, of course, it's going to be producing at a snail's pace, so I'm actually going to go and steal some iron and make it speed up. I've only switched on one of the assemblers just for the sake of uh, not splitting all my work across multiple there. Across multiple zones. Wow, we have zero stored iron anywhere. Yep. You are correct. Oh, no, no, I tell a lie here, some. Yum, 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 get any walls placed on this at all. Get some placed. For a wall, <laughs> this time should be 100% perfect. Got to clear that nest though. Are we just chesting bricks anywhere, or will I do something to do that? As no, well? but you can definitely grab them in the southeast, southwest. They're just making walls. I think maybe I'll split that line and put them into a chest as well, just for decorative oh, yeah. bricks. Also, they're useful for other building materials as well, like. Oil refineries and stuff. down again.
I thought 500 tunnels was gonna be enough. Just making sure. Oh, the towers are not correct. Something was off, it's the towers. This is really overkill for standard difficulty, but I'm just doing it for fun. I enjoy the military aspect of this game a lot. I wonder if that Rift Breaker game that's coming out next week, if they're gonna have multiplayer, like a co-op multiplayer thing, because that would be super fun to play. I know they have Twitch interactions, so like Blue Point Shadow be able to vote if I get a positive event or a negative event in the middle of the fights, and I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I hope it turns out well. There's been a lot of hype around it, which tends to make me a bit cautious. But... I played the demo, it looks yeah. kind of fun. You're in the beta? Does not have co-op on release? Aww. That's, that's unfortunate. They promise. Okay, it looks like the chat says that they promise to add it afterwards. So it's gonna be like a post release kind of thing. That's a little bit sad, but fair enough. Bother me more than you can possibly imagine at this rate. God, really? Why? Just stay in the line. I am draining a coal line on that stone brick factory for the purposes of making it a bit more symmetrical. Do not let me forget that. Okay. Oof, our power has definitely collapsed, hasn't it? Yeah, I'm off to find a nice field now. I've got 22 wind turbines so far. Why is our steam not producing anything? What's going on with steam? Like, steam is just not generating anything. Did we disconnect the power from the steam or something? Yeah, but we're getting zero, zero power at all from steam.
I'll go over and take a look. I'm in the vicinity and I have the tools I need to fix it. I almost wanted to install nanobots just to, so we have it easier to remove this creep because I don't think there's another way to remove it by hand. I haven't figured out. Maybe flamethrowers? Because we need to use it for biomass, but it's something that you need to use it later. Steam seems to be running here, and when I click on a power pool, I can see 12 megawatts. Okay, it is getting here. Maybe I disconnected from the top of here. Okay, so maybe the power that I'm using on the west is not connected. And that's... I can see me probably messing up one of these wires. I can 100% see me missing one. It's going to drive me crazy because I won't be able to find it. Oh, somebody tried to say, if you place a concrete or rock floor, it picks up the biomass instantly. That's how you gather it. Oh, okay. Sounds like we're just carrying a bunch of bricks with us everywhere, then. Well, for those of us going out there anyway. Blur those out. Well, isn't it lucky I just started accumulating bricks en masse? Mm -hmm. Yeah, our iron situation looks pretty dire. Iron, if you will. Yep. I'm gonna start grabbing a ton of iron here and just um, pushing it forward into the um, wind turbine generations so that we can start to fix the problem. Yep. I'm still only running one wind turbine farm. place any trees down yet? I haven't actually, I should go and take a look at that. Yep, it's right at the top where we started. Go ahead. Just place whatever we have the thickest pollution. Yeah, it looks like, look at how well the trees have done soaking up their air pollution. Look at how weak the pollution has gone back now. And your lack of power is probably contributing to that too. I was sending like a little bit of ammo to the top like one at a time and then the entire northern wall is already completely filled with ammo. So that little trickle down ammo kind of like within the other rich resources map it actually works. It's silly but it works. Oh, the ammo belt is a classic. Should serve us well. Big long belt everywhere carrying ammunition to the front lines. I find this mod super neat, like everything is just like pretty overall, like really well designed. Where do the trees live? Uh, go up. Uh, next to high, left of high, there's a box of it. I see them.
so what's the pace controls like? Do they do they spread? Oops. They do not. Deli friend. Friend. Oh yeah, I did Mr. D, didn't I? It's just how you spell it in, in Twitch, so I didn't want to change it if that's how you wanted to spell it. No, someone else has the, the OG jelly friend. Oh, how dare they. How dare they come up with my pseudonym years before I did. Just decorating the place. I like it. Oh, they do kind of size mask them. And you rotate? Alas, no. I think this would be more or less impossible if I uh, squeak through because. Um, Obviously, trees are unsqueakable. Yeah. In the normal game. Absolutely. So these, we would just be building solid walls of wood. So what you're saying is, we're gonna, that's gonna help how we're gonna defend against the aliens. Just put what a giant forest they can never get through. Yeah, because I don't think they attack the, the trees, so it might be actually more effective than <laughs> walls. Maybe a little cheesy, but I'm kind of okay with it. yellow. I throw the satisfactory of that sphere program likes. Yep. To be fair, this came up before Dyson Sphere and Satisfactory, so technically Dyson Sphere is the next evolution of uh, Factorio. And once again out of iron. And so on and so forth. More power is in the yellow now, though. Is that me or you? Have you been working on power as well? I've been placing some more wind tunnels to make him by hand. Yeah, so it's a team effort. Mm -hmm. It might be time to pop another coal thing, though. Is Dyson Sphere good? You keep seeing it in future? Yeah, it's good. I mean... I am an environmentally conscious jelly friend. I will be... Building friendly wind turbines. Alrighty. Yeah, Dyson Sphere is like a more futuristic thing. So, like, you already start with logistic robots at the very beginning of the game. Ability to mod. There's already a few mods there. And absolutely. Oh no, I'm being trapped. <laughs> Let's push over the edge to buy it. You're trying to save money actually to play what you're already on? That's probably a good idea. Yeah, Dyson Sphere is pretty fun. As soon as Iron uh, stabilizes, I'll switch the rest of these on and we can yeah. just have a full grid of wind turbines for the rest of time. I'll place 10 of them.
far down as the aim we got. So we got up to here. Nice. Next one should be that one then. It's strange that this one got ammo, that one did not. I think we had run out of ammo at that point. Who knows? Rift break coming next week though, that one sounds like it's gonna be a, a wood and a half. That's one I'm looking forward to this month coming out. There's also DLC for Brasper, there's DLC for uh in Zone World Apart, so it's gonna be a busy month. Might not be all Factoria this month. Iron, what a shot. Returns to defend your base, they work like a charm, but your PS FPS drops. 16.5 out of 23. Uh, I've been using flamethrowers on my other bases too. Like, I would do the same. Have you, uh, if you're heavy, if I'm, can you drop the resolution in your game or something? Because I, I was getting some of that too. Like a little bit of spikes, like spikes, especially multiplayer. People were getting kicked out, but. I found out why the power wasn't connected because there's a missing power pole. Always one. So all those wind tunnels that put it on the west, they were all being useless. Now we're connected again. Seventeen point one. Seventeen point three. Yeah, I mean, maybe try lowering low the resolution. Is there any, like, uh, maybe any settings on your video card that you can change? I'm sure if you Google, somebody's already figured out a solution to it. Somebody could probably get you an idea how to get that fixed. I gotta say, one of the advantages of playing games like like this, where old, not only do you have a lot of mods already out and amazing, but also the the game doesn't struggle as much as you would with newer games when you're new on your video card and etc. Like everything's already been optimized to run as smooth as possible. Let's remove two power producers and yeah, consumers because they're out depleted. So it's less power for us to use. I don't know if they take that into account when they calculate our power demands. Oh, they did not. So those red vines, when I take them out, they actually do remove power demand. Iron is beginning to trickle down now. Our efforts have not been in vain. 
may yet save this thing. Uh, do you have electronic circuits anywhere? Uh, there should be some on the on, on being produced during the research. We just need someone to just grab them. What you working on? Yeah, it's a secret. Huh? A secret? It's a secret. Alrighty then. Basically, I'm landscaping. But Fair enough. That's how about it. Electronic sort. Did you ever set up steel? Yeah, it's on the southeast. Southeast, that's where I'm going right now. The place where we're trying to deplete all that stone. Yeah, I think I see it. I'm just gonna put a bunch of boxes that just takes uh, stone out of the belt and stores them in boxes just so we can really strain the heck out of that as fast as possible. You can always unload the boxes later. Oh yeah, remember when I said someone needs to remind me that I switched off the coal to the uh, stone forge. That should make things a bit better. Um, I wouldn't. I'm gonna try and use that space for even more stone brick forging. So oh. if I can go above those two, that would be ideal. As soon as I can find a way to move this glass line up, okay, or a steel line even. Elegantly and without undue spaghetti. <laughs> Actually, I think I can. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I'm just gonna make a bit of a mess to make less of a mess, if that makes any sense. I use a lot of power too, but we gotta clean those pests on the deposit. It's so dumb, but it's gotta be done. Trust me, everything's going to be fine. I want to see something silly. Look where I am. Oh, it's like they're dancing. Mm -hmm. And get your drain or Lucky stone. we have. Lucky we have some. Lucky we have loads of excess power for this kind of frivolity. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> It didn't even use point 0.1 extra. Mm, use 13 kilowatts each. <laughs> Barely anything. We're just trying to empty our stone out so we can actually make room for the main bus. Yeah, I've been placing wind tunnels whenever I can. Wind, wind turrets, whatever these things are called. Wind turbines, words. I mean, all of those things are correct. They are technically wind turrets. Hmm. Uh, you are not needed anymore. Okay, so that's that. Then there's this. And then I will like 10x our stone brick production. T 
tidy. Mm -hmm. Like it or not, we're producing five megawatts with just wind, ton wind, ton of, uh, wind turbines, which is almost half. Great that it's 269 of them, but still. <laughs> Let's see if our friends have expanded. We have not. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to do. I was going to put the radar down there. So it can get even more power. Hooray! Oops, those are copper plates. These are copper coils. Got another 45 wind tunnels being made by hand. Found a nom nom amount of iron to just chew on. I'm gonna switch on a couple more of these assemblers. I think we're starting to break even. Already. As I place more radars nice. there, I'm also gonna place these. Because by the time I get there, this 45 wind turbines should be ready. So I'm gonna place them all along the wall. So if we ever expand the wall, we're already at least gonna have a use for the area after it's been pushed over. It's gotta be the greenest factor we've ever done. Yep. And I found more stone. Yay. <laughs> This area is just perfect for a wind tunnel farm right here. I keep saying wind tunnel, it's wind turbines. shouldn't bother me, but it does. These wind turbines are generating a lot of lag or something. No, they should be um, very low cost in terms of their impact because they, they work the same way as solar panels, they just produce energy. Uh, me from a perf uh, PC performance kind of deal. Yeah, no, that's that's the thing. Like the, the what's really expensive is steam. Steam power is very expensive because it's a fluid simulation. Oh. But for solar and I assume for these things they're basically free because they're just like all they do is put a, a constant number of like kilowatts into the grid they don't vary they don't change well look look at our where our coal is being turned into steam look at how we can see where the pollution which direction it's going you can tell which trees oh. are dying kind of sad you can always place more yeah, but... Once we have filters, we, sh we should preserve our trees from dying. Alright, we're... Wind is officially half our power. It's 
to place the radar and come back. I gotta say, the greenhouse is a lot, makes a lot more sense in this mod than it does in Bob Angels. Just, just send water and you have trees. <laughs> Remember, you had to get a log, get a seed out, plant a seed in a greenhouse, and then do it. That was a little annoying. There we go. Let's make some sense. I know this is a little silly to mark all the stuff, but I just like to keep track of where stuff is expanding. I need to mark everything though. Well, I've got a much clearer view of the west now. Plenty of uh, munchy friends out there mm -hmm. to shoot at. Look at that rare metals. We probably want to grab that. The rare metals big patch? Yeah, 2.4 million. Oh yeah, that's even bigger than the one we have just north of our north wall. Oh, first the first perimeter. Yeah, I see it. Oh, whoops. Hmm? How oh, did you get killed? Uranium? No. Worse. Did you put water under yourself? Was that what happened? You were placing water and you died and fall into the water? Yep, I drowned. Oh my goodness. Good to know that it's doable though. <laughs> you were the first one to die in this run. Hooray! <laughs> but I have now finished uh, our garden. You can see back at spawn. Oh, I like it. It's a nice landscape in here. Why are the bullets getting down here? I haven't gotten that this far. So it's not a good sign. So hasn't gotten any either. He has gotten here. We're just gonna think it's time. I guess there's some going over here now. Hell, even this one hasn't gotten the MOC either. So they're loading 10 bullets into each one. You should get this one now. It's funny how chill this game starts and suddenly when all the aliens begin to attack, it's like, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, that one has, okay, that one has nine, so it, it's actually doing it correctly. It's, it loads ten into each and then moves on to the next tail box. <laughs> or gun turret, whatever you want to call it. Should probably call it the Jelly Park. Gotta get some more nested birds over here. I think that's my uh, calling in this game now. I know I can place trees and uh, 
other features is gonna be amazing making everything very pretty i am okay with this Research trains. Yep. I suppose we'll need more regular steel before I get to work on any kind of train stuff. Let's do this one by hand. But it's just easier to just do turrets, isn't it? Oh no! Our coal is getting attacked! Oh. oh. Are you anywhere near? Okay. I am not, but I am on my way. The song in my heart and 20 rounds of ammunition in my belt. You got this. They tore it up right and good. <laughs> That's them taking vengeance on the pollution that we're doing. It is going to cause no end of trouble for uh, an hour. Yep. Uh, can I make these in situ? I don't think I can. Boilers. pipe which is missing iron meanwhile I've been clearing the south of the nest uh, nest of the south not English words
Okay, that's that little misadventure corrected. You gotta find where it came from, right? Yep, or just put walls around the whole compound. Stone bricks of this. I feel like these are not going to be aligned. Oh, but they are. Oh, yes. Very satisfying. set a rule that we only expand from the walls that we're setting up right now until we completely fill the or, or deplete our resources or we need something outside we were not overextending ourselves all the time Yeah, but iron's going to be a big priority here. We've pretty much eaten the starter patch already. Mm -hmm. Well, we already have one, two, three sources of iron within our walls. Four sources of iron. Yeah, they're far away, though. We need the trains are operational. Sounds like a jelly station's on the way. It sounds like there's a jelly station on the way. We just need better steel to start doing railway stuff. So I do not see rail on, on our menus. Oh, have we done research trains then? Yeah, I'm gonna have to queue that up. Let's look at the technology for their own, and they all look so amazing. Have you seen other stuff later on? Is it getting proper sci-fi, is it? Yeah. Antimatter reactor, antimatter ammo. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but apparently we have antimatter ammo. Portable antimatter reactor. Intergalactic transceiver. Backpack. Hold this machine allows instantaneous communication with any other transceiver anywhere in the universe. Okay. I guess that's how you get rescue in this game. Instead of launching a rocket, you do that one. Kind of okay with that. Mm -hmm. Cogs, please. Where do we even get Tesla coils on this one? Ugh, I don't, don't want to stop playing this mod now. It's so much fun. Addiction in this game is a serious thing. Oh, look at these circuits down here. I could use those to build some uh, 
a small advanced factory going. Yeah, I could, and that wouldn't even be too bad a spaghetti. Selling so what is finished, just needs to connect to belts and power now. Well, half of the wall is dead. I'm just surprised there's some much longer than that. And that will guarantee us a very nice mineralized water deposit there. What I read, we use that for in the future. Hi, right, Pickles. Gotta pet the kitty. Have to pet the kitty. Hey. I bet you two sprinkles. Sprinkles can immediately get jealous. I didn't pet him. It's right near. Excellent. We got this. Bring power down there. <laughs> Things are looking a little better, they're not slow moving anymore. I'll go place this 20 wind tunnels that you just made and connect the power to the south so we can use even need more power. I wish the power producers would connect uh, the power lines instead of needing to connect power to them. A lot of other games do that, but this one does not. Also, you know what's another good thing about building walls, though? Since they do send power that direction, like if you ever need to any of the miners on the, on the way there, you can also grab the power where we have kind of, I kind of have a power infrastructure all the way down there already. Near with the big deposits.
7 megawatts worth of wind tunnels. So we're doing pretty good on it. Oh, we got a new nest here. Should we not have belts? I, I grabbed like 2800 when you just got here. I just now ran out of them. Sorry, people, so I'm not petting you. There you go. There you go, kitty. I'm sorry. I'm not petting you. Let's grab some more wind tunnels if there's any left. Iron started to kick in again. Look at that. It was really just the power. Make some more of those by hand. Yes, twelve more. Any iron gears left? Oof. So you have to make those by hand. So yesterday I tried to reach out to my bank, right? Because I wanted to refinance my mortgage so that I so it's a little less uh, strenuous on my bills. And now because I'm only making less than a thousand dollars a month now without the streaming not being my main job, I reached out to them to say, hey, "Can I get a refinance? Like my my situation has changed and I, I can no longer afford to pay this nine hundred and fifty dollars a month, which is the current mortgage." Like. I've been with you guys for you know, decades, etc. And now they're saying that I can't, even though I have like a perfect credit score. They say I can't until I can prove that I can make more than what I'm making currently to justify the refinancing. I'm like, if I had, was making more money, I wouldn't want to refinance because be, then I'd be paying my bills anyway. It just makes no sense to me whatsoever. Like, I'm fine because I have a lot of large savings, etc. Because I saved it for this for four and a half years. But it is so ridiculous, though. Like, I can't even imagine people who, like, have no money at all having to think about even thinking about refinancing their house. What well, they said that their alternative would be to actually just pick up a, like a, somebody else that you know that has better credit score to refinance with you. And I'm like, really? Like, I guess it's much more income. Like, it has nothing to do with credit score. Like, I can have the 800 credit score that I have right now, which is for for America is pretty decent. But I can't refinance. It's just silly. Should 
just America things, I guess. Twenty megawatts, We're almost there. Oh, sorry about that. I was away for a while. Oh, <laughs> I was just talking out of the Discord. I didn't realize that you were away. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, the door uh, went and I had to run. Oh, there's a burner inserter here still. Wow. Fixed. I just came by to fix that. I saw that too. I don't know how I placed that there, but I did. Maybe it's my fault. Yeah. I was just saying a second ago how I was I called my bank yesterday right trying to refinance my house because I, I have like a pretty big bill on my mortgage like 950 a month and I'm only making 750 yeah. right now with the string in my roommate's rent so it's very very sad income right now and I called yesterday to, like to get the refinance and they're like oh but you have to make, make more money to refinance and I'm like so if I was making more money I wouldn't need to refinance because I'm already making enough money <laughs> No. And like, oh, but that's oh. that's just how the rules are. I'm like that, that's the dumbest rules I've ever seen in my life. I actually said that all like it's the dumbest thing you ever told me. It's like, why would I even need to refinance if I was making enough to pay for it? Uh. So I'm like, oh, I guess, I guess I'm not refinancing them. It's gonna drain my savings until I get homeless, and then you guys will possess my house. I guess that's what you guys really want. And I actually wrote that to Alad, I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> you guys are being jerks to me, I'll be jerks to them too. Yeah, because it's not like they're going to get any money from a repossession. It just means they have to flip it back on the market. And they're not going to get, like, yep. in this financial climate, no one can afford to buy anything. Mm -hmm. What is this belt supposed to be over here? Oh, that's what it was supposed I'm to be. Okay, going up. I was wondering what that was. I just need to find a place where I can thieve some, um... Ah, I think I found the target. Making advanced factories? Yep, just gonna start a, start a crate. Oh, I see, iron gear and steel plate, I see. Did you get steel plates over here? It's not steel plate, is it? Oh, fudge! You know it is. <sighs> oh, darn it. I'll figure something out. So basically, if I wanted to refinance my house, all I have to do is work at a fast food place for a week. Hey, my income is now two thousand a month. Okay, here's the refinance. Okay, now I quit my job. <laughs> it, it just makes no sense whatsoever. I mean. Playing the system to win is is within your rights, I suppose. It was already getting out there. Good, good, good. 
Well, if I bring steel plates over here, I can build you some steel beams as well for that outstanding request. Oh yeah, there's that too. I do want to finish my wall plans though. I worked so hard on it. Well, I mean, it may not be ambitious enough in fairness. Yep, it's just good enough just to get peace of mind, you know? Alright, so do we have to reverse the bus for steel? Oh, the steel's super temporary though, isn't it? Is. It is. You responded to it. Let me see. Oh, it. Local smelting. Is this coke? No, this is just coal, isn't it? That's the coke line. Oh no, I'm gonna have to find that. I like it, Ivy. That's why you adored the universe and find Star Trek. The Empire is dark and much more grandiose. Really shows how low people can go. Yeah. So I got all the bits I need for that, but what I should probably do at this stage, because it's been a while, is go and collect some wind turbines and go and lay some more power. Okay, looks like he looks like he was talking about his more towards like Warhammer universe and everything like that. But yeah, I agree. It's kinda like that. It's so one of the reasons I like the, the the it's it's just so sheer ridiculousness that it's never gonna happen like that, like as if we, we can tell the one thing that authoritarianism has it, and I've said this several times, authoritarian empires in in the real world, they they squelch talent and like uh, people who are thinkers, it, any sort of like uh, talent. And this, that's why they're usually the worst ones at handling crisis, because they push out all the smart people out, and other people who are completely incompetent thrive in authoritarian, because it's not about how much you can suck up to whoever's in power. That's pretty much what comes down to authoritarianism, and why they fail miserably, so miserably in the, evil, in the real world. If authoritarianism was exactly what it's supposed to be, where... There's one seat of power that controls everything, but instead of punishing those who might criticize the government, which is the authoritarians, but they, they don't accept a single shred of criticism to them. They are the god kings and they're, they're the ones who, who cannot do anything wrong, as opposed to any other form of government at all, that they accept criticism from the people. I mean, communism is just as bad as authoritarianism, if you really think about it. It's, it comes down to the same thing. Like, I don't particularly support any for the government whatsoever but and like i'm not an anarchist either like it's hard to talk about this stuff and but in sci-fi yeah who gives a fuck it's just that it's just there just for the pure insanity of it be happy to know that i just took out seven thousand walls out of the box so there's a lot more room for walls to be made So yeah, but, but it comes down to, in sci-fi, who cares? It's, it's just... It, none of it is even close to how reality would be. It's just purely silly. Like, there are far worse things to be worried about in the real world. Than what sci-fi has to say about... Stuff like this. There's so many worse things to be worried about than what a silly like show or TV or work of science fiction talks about like a very, I don't know, it's just like, 
They have worse things to worry about in the real world right now. Yeah, this wall, this just makes sense to make a wall right here. <coughs> just go ahead and clean this little nest right here. It's tiny. It's adorable. If I can find it. Is oh my god, there it is. this copper as well while I'm at it. Yeah, I might as well make an L-shaped thing. And this, that's just, I'm, I'm right here, grab this stone too. Let's grab this stone as well. I can find where my, I'll put the belt. There's the belt. And this is not connected right here. Oh, there's Rayleigh. Thought I put it on because iron's getting pretty desperate. All right, how's this for my new ambitious wall plan? I'm gonna encompass the stone and go up, purge the Harrison nest, and make an L shape. Then I'll make it the one from one, one uh, WPP to WPC. Yeah, you've still got that line to do C to B, P. Mm -hmm. to... That cluster of nasty nests. A minor error with the underground belt sequencing on my uh, wonderfully woven uh, turbine factory yes. have thus improved production. Yes. Is it purged?
this on armor guard you can load it with some bullets because it's probably gonna be the first one attacked anyway so yeah just place a few bullets here There you go. We have the new Star Trek Discovery season coming out in November, EV. They're, they're way in the future, though. So, I don't think there wasn't. They, uh, on that universe, the, the Terran Empire fell like centuries ago. Well, when they. Any reference that they make it to the Mirror Universe, that is. But that could be just be lies from the Federation, right? Oh. You kept up with season two. Season three goes into a lot of the mirror universe stuff. I think it's season three. Oh, that's season three, I think, Kiwi. I think that's season three. Pretty sure that's season three. <laughs> some pe apparently, I was reading some of the the comments on like uh, Amazon Prime Discord, um, Amazon Prime comments, right? Some of them were like. Oh my god, these people are uh, like, they're just pushing this gender neutral agenda. I'm like, I don't, who gives a shit? Does it affect you in any way, shape, or form? Who gives a fuck? What do you think? <laughs> I, I never understood that. People just like get so bent out of shape what other people are doing with themselves. I'm like, you don't, you don't want to be, just don't be trans. <laughs> then don't be like, it's like, don't want to get gay married, don't marry another gay person. Don't want to get heterosexual married, don't marry another heterosexual person. Why is it such a complete difficult thing to grasp? I never understand it. If people just always got to bitch about something. Yeah, like in the previous Star Trek series, there's always been the one aliens with like three genders. Remember in the Star Trek this, uh, Next Generation, there was that one species that had three genders? Now we're just talking about like how people the stupid thing that people complain about TV series when they they're like somebody complaining about the fact that there were there was like non-binary characters in the Star Trek Discovery universe and people were just completely bent out of shit because of it. <laughs> I'm like really this is what gets you to not sleep at night. Like who gives a shit? That let people do what they want to do, they're not hurting you in any way, shape or form. <laughs> just people gotta complain about something, always. Never understand why people gotta complain so much. It's just always somebody has to complain about something. Like I, we, it's not like I go around trying to convert people to be what I am. Like, no, I don't care what you do to yourself. <laughs> if you want to do do you, do you do you. I could care less. <laughs> There's always gonna be somebody who's not who's gonna be unhappy. I learned that very young that no matter how bad, how much you think you can make make somebody happy, you can't ever make anybody happy. People are always gonna be complaining. There's always gonna be somebody unhappy. No matter what. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was the third season, Evie. I think it's, it's like the same principle when somebody sometimes shows up in the channel to troll, and I, I could care less because it's a complete random situation. And I'm like, 
Oh no, a random stranger said something to me on the internet to me. Whatever shall I do? <laughs> it's like there's so many keyboard warriors on the internet too, especially on Twitch. And I'm like, cool, you do you, I guess. <laughs> The best thing is they think they're getting, oh my god, I'm going to just get right in the, under their skin and say something dumb. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Go ahead and say something dumb and nobody's going to care. It's just... <laughs> like, I laugh, like, every time something like that happens. I'm like, really? That was your... <laughs> that was your big plan? To come some random stranger and just complain about it? Cool. Got a bunch of research cards on me for some reason. We dumped them in the lab. That's a great idea. I should also get rid of the research cards I'm carrying around for absolutely no reason. This power doing 21. Hmm. What's that, Evie? Yeah, that's that's just stupid right there too. But I was like, really? Why? <laughs> Who cares? It's, it's the name of the shell, really. <laughs> oh my God, what are you gonna do? X people? <laughs> like, why does this matter so much? Look at you decorating your entire place with trees. I love it. Just little bits of dead space and bring them to life in a friendly tree. Mm -hmm. And here I was thinking where we're going to expend the labs here once we get our power situation under control. Well, you can always chop them down again, I suppose. Uh, no, I can't. They're a beautiful garden now. Whoops. I guess I'll have to Ruined cause pollution, the kill the trees of pollution, then I'll have justification to kill it. <laughs> Only ugly trees can die. There you go. Are <laughs> uh... we the baddies? <laughs> we have to be the goodies. Eric Bataka with it, yeah. Like I, I, I don't know what that. Uh, what's what's on that link, Evie? I don't, I don't know if I can watch it right now. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was that was a great thing when she was over to the Terran Empire. She's been changed by the what she's seen in the Federation. That was cool. I need more radars, that's what I came back here for. Oh, look at you, you're putting a paved stone too. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> this is the, the same one from last night. Definitely progressed a little. You wanna see you wanna see up up top here? Looks really cool. Oh my god, Evie, that would be amazing. But how would that work though? Because they're they're mutually exclusive. One cannot exist without the other, right? The closest thing we got to a civil war between authoritarian and uh the Federation was that during the Star Trek one where they had like a archer Jonathan Archer, and then there was that guy on the moon or something trying to overthrow the government. I think that's the closest we ever got to a potential war between an authoritarian and the Federation. Which wasn't even the Federation, it was just the Earth people at that point. Oof, our coal mine is, coal mine is getting incredibly tiny right now. Oh, we're gonna end up running belts for for uh, basic resources, aren't we? Look at that bunch of the we were like, hi over here, but a smiley face. It's like I really like your garden what you did over here. I like the little park with the lake on the middle. It's very nice. Oh, it's right where our shelter is too. 
Yep, it's Spawn Park. Aww. Somewhere to hang out after work, have a barbecue with the other engineers. Oh, you'd be that would be something. Wow, he went well on, placing trees everywhere. I like it. I'm picking up some trees. Which power does each wind turbine? Uh, 20 kilowatts. They barely produce any power. They're very inefficient. Grab some more cogs. Oh my god, Evie, that would be cool. <laughs> that would be cool. I did install this quick through now, so we can actually work better. We've installed one that you can actually place water tiles. Oh yeah, you can definitely can. You know, you know what I just thought about it? The fact that we can place water tiles means that the aliens can pretty much never get to us if we wanted to. Yeah, that's a bit. Uh, I'm not. That's a bit cheesy, yeah, I'm not doing but... that. I mean, the same could be said for trees, in fairness. Yeah. To a lesser extent. I mean, you know, like it or not, our windmills are producing 9.3 megawatts, squared right? that is 464 of them against our 16 <laughs> steam power things, but hey, it's clean, renewable energy. I mean, I wonder what solar plays like in this game. Uh, let's see. Oh, it requires silicon. We don't have silicon yet. Do you want to go down the rabbit hole? Can you make it out of sand? That's probably logical. Oh, it's out of quartz, apparently. Quartz is sand and water. Yeah. Ah, there you go. Sound, water, and a lot of pressure. Uh, if we do this asking chat, if having the trees close to the factory wouldn't catch on fire, I don't think so. We don't have anything that produces fire. I think we're fine. They just eat pollution, though. They're fine. Oh no, that thing in the lake actually has a little pathway that can, they can go through. I might have to curtail that. Well, you have the technology. The um, water fill factory is just at the top east side. For certain, no, just looked like there was something there, but there isn't.
spot in me. This portion, okay. how many walls we had. I was being all conservative with our walls, but we have so many freaking walls in storage. So I'm using all the players and all. completely overkill as well and since we're not even playing in the death world this feels like a complete overkill but now that i've done it once in another playthrough i feel like i have to do it in every single playthrough that makes sense Like this game compared to like oxygen not included feels like one of the easiest games I've ever played. Like the amount of stuff you had to think about in in that game, like it's almost nothing compared. Have you ever played it? Yeah, that one is. Uh, I have actually. I played it for um, played it for a few weeks and just kind of came to the first big kind of complexity. Um inflection moment and I was just like oh my goodness I literally this is just a programming language with graphics it really is yeah I think only they took it to an extreme that very few people can comprehend especially once you get to rockets oh my god like that blew my mind I ended up having to build a self-propelling steam engine that I would capture whenever the rocket would launch I made a bay that would capture all the steam, so that when it when it landed back, the steam was already there waiting. So it sucked up all the steam and reused it on the engine. Oh. It, it was so much fun, like all the little stuff that you could come up on that game, like the machine that was self, uh, like you could breed little little hatchlings, and then you made a, uh, an automated factory that it would just harvest meat from them by just drowning them. It was horrible, but it was very efficient. Oh my god. You're like, of course you find some more thing to do evil in that game, right? Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't be you if you didn't. Look at this area where I've done this is not the perfect place for a solar farm.
Why is it so hard to see you on the map all the time? If you zoom out all the way, only only your name's shot. Yes, south of me there's this huge opening in the forest where right near the mineralized water. Oh yeah. Oh wow, yeah. Make for a nice solar farm if we can can spare the space. I'm not going to care about this one. So I'm going to make this perfectly aligned. It's connected, it's fine. Man, suddenly we have sight on the south. Yeah, I don't think we have to worry about pollution hitting the south ever. <laughs> I mean, you say that. Yeah. Three years later. Oh my god, look at all this pollution. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is all connected right here. So I can see and check it out. Yep, it's actually, tunnels are actually working here. Yep, it's all tunnel right. Well, I was hoping I'd be able to get the power grid green again before I had to sign off, but I have failed you. It's all good. The steam, the, the wind turbine factory is going to help tremendously. Yeah, it should be pretty self-explanatory on how to switch it on once you've got better copper, but... Mm -hmm. uh, I have real weight eleven percent, so next time I sign in, I will get to work on a proper multimodal rail station, probably up here. He says tackings. You can make a multiple stations parking in this center base too. Oh, we forgot to. Yeah, I think the goal here is to do it properly, like one massive train station distributing to the top of the bus. I like it. Like the main avenue down the middle of the bus. Oh, I like it just to walk. Tree oh, land. beautiful! Ah. I like it. <laughs> look at you making the place actually look presentable. It's the tool I've already. It's the tool I've been desperate for in this game for years. I just want to play The Sims, but with more logistics. Probably won't like as right, much without all the bots. Yep, we're gonna have to I tell you it's gorgeous now, but this place is gonna be a spaghetti nightmare by the time we're finished with this. It, it has to be. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, thank you for all the help, Jelly Friend. Hope you have a good rest of your Tuesday. No problem. Talk to you next time. Yeah. Alright, folks, I need a quick break and choose the bathroom real quick. I am gonna pause just in case. Here, back.
Sorry, folks. The dog was just being difficult today. Ah. Takes me like an hour for her to get, get up, see up here, so I just put it on her down there. I don't like to yell at the doggo. <sighs> anyway, what was I? Getting this whole thing started. Right. Wait. All the way. I don't know if this is all connected, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. That the belt is connected, that's a whole other story. Place them all around by one. I guess I could just use long arms on those. Yeah, that'd be lazy. Just do it properly. Not be lazy. So the arms ahead, can I make some more? Walls. Can I come up with put the cone up here instead? I decided to wait down there. That's what happens. You have the cone and you pissed off. There you go. down so I can't blow them ammo. Yeah, those actually could be a little bigger to carry out. I don't know what the situation is, but... As a contrast to the previous game I played, this time has been very heavily forested.
Grab some water fills just to finish up that little thing in the south wall. There's ammo stuck there for a second. They are stuck. It's one belt. production sad right now. It's the power looking. Be better. We pop in some more wind wind turbines. In a few years, the ammo's getting to the end. So I'm gonna need, looks like, one, two more radars. That's it, two more radars. So for radars, I need one iron shaker. That stone, good. Stat. It's like always the edges that end up first, which is good. Which is how it should be. Should dump some of these logs. Fallen stone. This glass on the universe. Dump that too. Then you grab arms. Funny turrets. Alright, let's go finish the wall. Go back and fix the power in this factory. Now I think at some point I might end up doing like a path through the woods, like if you can drive with a car back and forth, or maybe a train even. Because this walk is back and forth is kind of brutal. Oh, I just saw the water, I need to grab the water. 
I don't know where he's, he built it. He's, I, he told me, but I just I forgot what it was. So I guess I'm gonna have to find it that way. It's gotta be near the water. Right here, maybe up there? Ah, oh, right there, up there. Back up we go. There it is. Stone is clearing out. Good, good, good. I want to complete this first before I even expand on this side of the factory. You know, the ammo got there. We'd be able to tap there's ammo on one of these towers. As luck will have it. Nope. Dr. Tag knows where the ammo got stuck. Oh no. It's a connect. Oh, right there. So good, connected. This one's connected at all. Let's check it. Now. Or I should just follow this just to make sure. Yes. It's exciting. We're watching belts of ammo go through the wall. <laughs> Very exciting stuff.
It is stuck, so there's a problem here. Yes, should take a little look here. Going through here. I guess I don't want to have to destroy this entire thing of, of forest just because of that. I don't have to refuel my own towers. There we go. Again, yeah, it's completely overkill in a map like this. That said, this force, but it's not so much to even think about it. Some decides to attack me. It's all protected or anything. Just went out, London. Lay down, chill. Chill and just lay down, please.
Şöyle en başka bir denet barış. Those are big nests. Probably should just clear these two. Creeping death. Exactly. It slows you down now when you go through it. Oof. Decisive victory, right? One's a little smaller. Oh god, oh god, got the fish, these fish, ah, fuck! I thought I had fish in my inventory, I, I, down there, but nope. There you go. Now you're the only one who died. You win this time, fighters. You win this time. Or so that I can actually get through it. Hopper is certainly not a problem. Your production is awful. Isn't just every game in Factorio? Steel is a problem. Yep, it's Factorio. Oof. Oof. 
Not a single... Not a single turret is being made because everything else is just so backed up now. Oof. How much do I care for my stuff that got left behind him? Not have planned that if I tried. I'm gonna carry one of these. It's a much greater range, slower speed, minimum, a minimum range one. Minimum, okay, so now minimum range one. Ah, oh, that's really much farther, so... <coughs> the sniper rifle. Hey, close! She makes this little crying when she's playing with a little toy. It's not like she's suffering, but she's actually having fun. But she, it sounds like she's struggling. <laughs> she does that every time. It's cute, but it's, the first time I heard it, I was super worried. But oh, it's just her having fun. Come on, deplete the stone, please. Two million stone. Oof. Fifteen bullets should be enough, right? Totally. It needs its own special ammo. Oh, whatever. Oh, that's not that's coke. That's not cool. Idiot. Quest to grab my body at least. <laughs> and I have two turrets. Should be able to at least grab my body and then come back. Might not be a bad idea to grab some fishies. You know, jelly friend, where you died in the water, drowned, that means that you lose your... You lost your pistol forever, so you won't even be able to recover to indicate that you died. Like, we should not do a gun memorial on this one. <laughs> Brings back too many dark memories. So 
That's where it died. Can I put this over here? It is for project time, right? So it actually has to hit something. Over here. That's just better. Convenient. My stuff. My stuff. I think it's pretty cool. Like it actually acts like a project task. So you can just shoot through trees anymore. Like you can in the base mod. Here we go. Revenged. Avenged? Avenged. Might as well clear that too, right there. Sniper rifle seems a little unfair. It's cool though. Probably overkill.
looks good. What's it back down south? Yep, just gonna place the radar down there and then we're done. Then perimeter is secure. Just gonna go plop the water down to cut off that little island. To make this a little easier too. In this mod, all the uranium that you find on the map, it's all radioactive. It actually hurts you if you go walk on top of uranium. It's a big patch down there. Of course, I'm not gonna strike it yet. We have no use for it just yet. Oh, yeah, come on, cold water. So, what did I come down here again? I don't think I'll place a single turret in here. I don't even place a single turret in this area. Or a belt of ammo. Nope, this is not done at all. Ah, I thought I was done. I wanna go fix the factory, dang it. Say no robots, I mean no robots of any kind. There's no logistic robots. Yeah, this is this is gonna be a little rough to clear this by hand. I guess there's no logistic robots. We could probably use construction bots here to just to clean some of this forest out. It, it would be rough to clear this by hand. I agree. There's always grenades, that's true. The shiny way of clearing trees, grenades. Trap gun, first ammo, piles and piles of ammo, hold down fire. That's true. That seems wasteful though. Not as for right now, unless the resources are still terrible.
well. a mistake right there? No. So I had all of this walls defended already, but no. I have to do all of this stuff. Is long reach. <laughs> Wish the mod would get updated. That'd be amazing. Spoil by long reach. Let me check. Point thirty eight already. I don't know how they're evolving so fast. It's from pollution, like it what pollution? I wonder if the biter creep that we clear, if that still counts as absorbing pollution. I wonder. If that's the case, I immediately regret removing all the all the bags where they were. There could be ruins maybe on the map that are generating pollution. How they doubted them. Perfect. Just a couple of guns would be more than enough for the rest of the game here. The iron is going to be our big issue going forward. Good enough. Let's bring the belt ammo here now. Go ahead and I need to cut off this island. I was gonna just a hole uh, on the line of defense. Let's just put water there. It's not cheesy if it's just like a little strip like that. Imagine the biters could actually place landfill, like they would slowly move. 
send a way to make bridges on the water. How amazing that would be. I wonder if somebody's already made a mod where the biters can actually spawn, create landfill. <laughs> that would be fantastic. Not terrible pollution is not at all. Wait, I'm coming. One more to place. So I have 400 kilowatts. No. Yeah, 400. Hundred eighty six of the damn things and still nowhere near nowhere near the power. Had to be all eco friendly here. Not working. <laughs> the radars ate up so much power. So all this effort that we're the the windmills are pretty much just covering the radars by themselves. <laughs> Ammo is backed up over here. What can we do about improving the copper then? I can put another balance here. Which there for sake renewables? I won't. Patch is looking really sad right now, Jelly Friend. It's looking really sad.
I might actually just do this by hand, Jolly Friend. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna extract the iron with a belt. As much as I wanted to use train, the north one looks like we just need it. We'll, we'll save the next ones for trains. And grab a metric crap ton of belts. Yeah, we really don't have enough for rail for trains right now. That one just be would just be manual. How many miners do I have on me? Sixty-two. That should be enough to clear that entire area. All right, we're going to mining adventure, which is going to drain even more of our power. Oh yes, it's those two extra wind turbines that are going to make the difference. Such a pleasant pathway. I like what you did with the place. Right, now it's the fun thing, getting it to this. So you need to get it to here. Throw you here real quick. Iron patch right there. That's more like it. It'd be weird to only set a single line of, of iron there, but it's gonna happen. somewhere.
to comfortably able to clear it, right? So I need to grab a lot of concrete and start clearing those out. But by is gonna be used for something in the future, I'm sure. For power, I guess. Oh, and the pollution this is going to cause, too. I didn't even think about that. work. Oh yeah, this thing is going to be poking at us the entire time. Yep, this two right here is going to be eating a lot of this pollution. This thing is going to spread. This one's going to get eat it too. Anyway, can only do one thing, one problem at a time. First problem was iron. You know, generally, once the once, uh, power runs out, we could just burn wood. Even though wood is not as efficient as lumber. Or, I mean, <laughs> it's coal. It's just lumber. It's pretty much the same thing twice. Nice. Oh, well, this is not a good sign. But that is stopped. I mean, uh, somewhere it's broken. Yep, gonna have to find where the broken thing is. I think that's it right there. No, that's connected. It's right there. Fixing all the tracks.
temporary solution for a, for a, for a problem. This one line of iron might not be enough, but it sure should help. I can make the iron at the very bottom to loop back so they can get smelted. And threes. All right, let's place them now over here then. I'm actually gonna go surround that little iron mine with wood. Okay, houses are planting threes for a reason, right? To reduce this pollution, so. Definitely help <laughs> with this right here. A major part of the problem if you're using RPG mod, it gives XP and allows you to level up with some small modifiers each level. Resilient done your UPS when masses of monsters died. I guess the process of giving XP was intensive when the numbers get too big. Ah, makes sense. stupid. Hey, they'll eat the pollution a little bit. Hopefully. Maybe the trees absorbing pollution also help evolve the aliens in this one. Look at the evolution. 60% is for pollution. Yeah, they actually had some of their own achievements. Right. Just pick up some more trees, just place them just to use them.
very scientific method. Oh, crap. This is the main... Ugh. I'm an idiot. I forgot I'm building the bus here. Oh. Just using the trees. That's all. Let's just sit there forever. Very scientific method of reforesting. And this iron ore lines are looking pretty thick. It's still not. Oh, there we go. Now it's catching up. Or is it just looping back? I think it's just looping back. It's bar looking like horrible. It's probably almost half the way. Oof. Can I place more wind farms? There's nine. Nine of them. All nine of them. Oh, we never repaired it. Certainly curtailed the pollution. Look at how, how much it absorbed over there. So it's not getting to the little nests. Yeah, wall plan alpha, not so bad. Now, the ambitious plan would be to go over here, maybe find some more up at the top. It's, it's perfectly fine. Alright, so how to fix our power issue? Maybe using a different type of power. Maybe some solar. Glass and silicon. Silicon is made out of quartz. Quartz is made of sand and water. And a filtration plant. Alright, let's do it. Some glass and steel beams. Oh, great. There he goes again. When it needs engines. I'm sure engines you cannot make those by hand. And certainly you can't. It's in the base game you can't, so I don't see why they would allow me in this one. Wait, can I even make engines? Is that even a thing we can make already? Yes. Must be made by iron. Oh, it's just all iron. Iron, iron gear, pipe. I think this iron gets a little better. Things should get better all, everywhere around. I do eventually want to start making some solar sort of panels. Ancients, 
expansion until I said again. Any chance? Fire, iron gear, and pipe. Sure, they won't let me do it by hand, but I'll, I'll at least try it. I just need to make one, so. Yeah, I don't think so. Blood stuff. Just temporary. That's what I needed. You know, I could just tell it to make the things that I'm about to make. What is it called? Filtration plants? Nah, never mind. I'm making this by hand. those do I need? Mm. 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 It's gonna be a day for double coffee. I'll we'll wait for that. Let's go play some more wind. There you go, I don't know if you're still around, Jelly Friend, but we turn on your solar and your wind production full speed now. It will start. Four point six. Yeah, this thing is super inefficient. It just takes so much space. Better be cool though, because you're gonna fill the entire map with all this crap. Do I have enough engines to get that started now? There's enough engines. Efficient glitch. Go for it. I can't make the civilians by hand. Military tech card, there we go. Chemical tech card.
Just like going for the water. Yeah, I guess I'm just doing it in the same area. This is essentially use it does generate pollution. So put it up there. See the I can probably grab some more brick so I can actually start continuing this highway. I like what it did there. I don't think I need it right there in the middle of the base, I just need so much power. Maybe later. We can pave the mini mall. The mini mall could use it. There is the creep. Let's find out what that is. But it's gonna be biter creep that can be harvested to produce biomass. Use for military research, making a few items like fertilizer and first aid kits. Creep can be harvested efficiently with the item creep collector. Slowly by hand and robots can destroy it. Also now I can destroy it? Okay. There's a creep collector now. There it is. Creep collector. Two of those. Some steel. Let's grab some steel. Oh, that line of steel is getting a lot thicker. I like it. Perfect. Things are improving, yay! This soil is no longer green, you can bathe it. It's only the green one that absorbs ocean, the, the dirt doesn't. Screw that up. This will just be a park of sorts. But 
at least there's a lot of stone being used. Just trying to burn it anyway. I doubt those engines are going to be a pain in the butt. Ouch. It still uses power once it's depleted, by the way, so you want to make sure that you can remove these once they're out. Just to, just to show your power, we need 4.8. Okay, maybe a bad example then. How much power do they use? 100 kilowatts. I guess they don't. Maybe I'm wrong. Never mind. Uh, I might be wrong. Filtration plant. I'm gonna need. We're sending sand. So send sand to turn into quartz, and then quartz turns into silica. Okay. Buildings. Not exactly one. Like. Nothing that's raining again. Can't work. Uh, just gotta get the launch day after work after work. So much for that plan. Of course, it's really coming down. Yeah, there's no chance. Bring some sand over there. Sand, your sand. It's 
spend a bunch to try to get through this. Yeah, there's the way. I like how I just placed this too. This, why was there already a line here? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's the that's the three line. It's too thick. Not if he came through. Just wait a second. It doesn't look like it. Yep. Nope. Oh, is it because I shot the. Just because I shot that little belt. Could be going now, right? Yeah. So far he goes. not going. So I get the big enough. Big line of trees I suppose. Look at the sand over there. This is six words. What is it stuck on then? Just 
I said three in the way. Oh my god, I built the tunnels. Let's just go under. They were out of built tunnels, but I guess maybe ran out of tunnels. That's what it was. Now I'll show you the connection. And quartz into silicon is done where in a furnace. Alright. It's a good spot as any up here, I guess. Last four city area that I can go through. Not really. I guess we're turning around up here. Somehow. Oh, I'm out of tunnels. There's scrap tunnels. Skip the rooms. Furnace, furnace, furnace. Hurts.
very temporarily won't. I'm surprised that nobody knew they have to make the circuits. They've been a really good use of all that stone. Now we can make solar panels now. Solar does have the downside of only working half the day, of course, obvious, obvious reasons. I guess I did it this way. Mensa mission gas can be dumped in two. What was I doing? Solar pumps. Way too long to remember them. Oof, that is one slow. Oh, it's struggling down there. It's as good a spot as any place them. Turbine is looking right now. 66 of them, nice. Let's pull up some more.
can barely scratch the surface on this power. I don't want to build more steam turbines. Oh, well, at least we're producing more from windmill than we are from steam mill, though. Took a long time, but we are making some. Search complete modules that can be inserted. Okay, that's what they are. Okay, so it's, they kept those the same. Okay. Sure, if I just place like five more steam turbines, we'll fix the power problem. No problem at all. But where's the fun in that? <laughs> right? Certainly not have to worry about pollution in this map. In this map. <laughs> Look at that. Like, it's, like, it's like barely even escaping the walls. It's like these, I don't know if these are expansions or not. Coal here anymore. I'm going to replace this one with wood. I'm going to replace this one with wood. Excuse to use up all this wood. Because the greenhouse consume pollution, so it'd be a good way to clean out some of the pollution here too. Burns a lot faster. So it should be more. Okay, it doesn't doesn't produce as much as the coal though. That's fair. One of the this produces more of a fuel value than mega joules. Yeah, it does. Hmm. I wonder if I could throw that into the boiler. It might be better than the. Cold that we're sending there now. It's fine for now.
Oh, it's starting to look sad. Got another source of coal that I can tap right here, too. I think I'm gonna just call it here. Mm. It's been fun. Got, got to eat lunch and all the other fun stuff. Let's throw it away. Somebody, hopefully, somebody playing some factorial here. No, no grid is tiny and all that, but let's go ahead and pick somebody. Some really big streamer streaming today. Oh, anyway, let's just pick somebody. Let's wait for the next person over. So, have a good one, folks. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one.